Hello there! Welcome to my archaeological dig site. As you know, I've been trying to track down the household gods for some time, and the lightning around this spot tells me that there, that there is a, a Jupiter, or one of his near relatives, somewhere around here. Now, if I can find him, hopefully I can make all that clear, otherwise it's going to remain very, very confusing. Through triangulating, I have decided that he's probably somewhere below this edge of the Desert Temple. So what I'm going to do is horrendously dangerous. I'm going to pretty much dig straight down and uh, see what I can find. Don't try this at home. It might take a while though, so and in fact I've already hit <laughs> rock. I was rather hoping it was going to be a bit more sand. Uh, but yes, I'm just going to be uh, digging down like this. It's not. I'm not going to dig straight down, that would be crazy talk. But hopefully I will eventually get to uh, where I want to be. I will dig down a little bit. Oh, there you go. I've seen quite a lot of ore that I ought to snaggle, uh, grab at some point, but that is not the goal of the exercise. The household gods have many strange powers, and uh, I'd quite like to get my hands on one. There is another uh, that we found in the Travelling House episode that was uh, spawning pumpkins and melons everywhere. This one... Uh, the, all I know about this one is that it's got the head of Jupiter, because of the lightning. Each household god is composed of uh, a head, a body, and a torso. And each of those uh, essentially forms one part of a sentence that describes what the uh, statue does. Uh, and so, I know that it's got the head of Jupiter, because the head of Jupiter uh, does lightning. But why he's doing the lightning, and what he's firing the lightning at, we don't know yet. Clearly he's not doing it at me. So, uh, that's good. Of course, not every god is as easy to find as Jupiter. Uh, the lightning is a bit of a giveaway. And uh, the the, uh, the Demeter god, obviously, is, is throwing melons and pumpkins everywhere. So she's relatively easy to uh, find as well. I was rather hoping to, uh, to break into a dungeon or something at some point, or a tunnel, because that's probably where he is. Cause they can spawn on the surface. But uh, if there's a cave network beneath, then they'll generally spawn in there. Uh, let me just check my mini map so I know where I am. I'm still more or less in the same, more or less where uh, I think I need to be. They give off light as well, which sometimes makes them easier to see. But uh, that doesn't help when they're uh, underground. Oh, hello! Right here we go. Here's something. I need to be a little careful, because there could be uh, any number of fellows waiting for me. Oh! <laughs> and there he is! Hail, hail, great! Whoever you are. Let me just uh, make sure the area is safe. First, because there could be any, anything down here. Right, now. Uh, and which household god are you? To find out who this god is, uh, probably the easiest thing to me to do is just bash him up. And pick up the pieces. And, uh, let's see. His name is... Where did the other bits go? I can't see them all. Did I not pick them up? Juton. Juton. Uh, and my cheat sheet tells me that that means lightning, give to players, uh, give to player in furnace, uh, oars. Which doesn't make any sense. Which is why he's not been doing anything particularly useful. It's possible, it's possible that uh, if I had ore in my backpack, uh, sorry, in my in my main inventory, he'd be shooting me with the lightning. Um, so it's just as well I didn't. He probably can't see into my uh, miner's backpack. Oh, hello. What's all this? Um, what is what is going on over here? Uh, who are you? And why do you have? A load of strange spiders. I don't know, I don't like the look of this. But, well... Are you aggressive? Oh, maybe you're not. Oh! Well, that's... No, that's a, that's a, good, that's a uh, light mage anyway, so that's okay. Uh, he seemed to... I think maybe he hypnotised those spiders. Uh, wow! Okay, this... I must be getting under the taiga here. This is an ice cavern. Uh, so I need to be a little careful where I put my torches, because they will melt the ice. 
Oh, in fact, yeah, that wasn't very clever. Um, let's not do that. Great, now I can't get through. Uh, but that will freeze again in a moment, I think. Let's put the light... Where shall I put the light? I don't really need to be wandering around down here anyway, but uh, it's probably still too close. Yeah, torches will melt ice. Uh, that will, I think, freeze at some point. Though possibly not in the time frame that I want to be uh, waiting. So you've been, you've, so this fellow has been down here killing all the monsters before I got here, most likely. Cheeky devil. But let's let's sort this water out. E. The mushrooms and the ice stalactites are from wild caves. The ice cave, I think, is from better dungeons, but I always get mixed up between my different dun my different dungeon improvement mods. Okay, it looks like I can still move around here, so let's have a quick look. Uh, hmm. Don't want to get myself trapped. I'm very deep underground here. Oh, so, come on, let's do it. Let's fight these fellows. Courage, courage is necessary. There we are. And you never know... Oh, there's an angry zombie. Uh, they're a bit tougher. Uh, but... Oh! Uh, yeah, let's... let's. Hey! This, what, that zombie's picked up a piece of his friend and started throwing it at me. These zombies, these zombies have no manners. No manners whatsoever. I don't know. I don't know what to do with them. Um, but anyway, yeah. This is quite an extensive... Right, now, what's that? I cannot see what's hitting me. Which probably means it's a rat. Uh, not sure what that was all about. Hmm. Well, let's just leave it alone. Okay, I'm going to head back with my with my with my new my new. Uh, uh, I've forgotten where I came from. Okay, now I'm lost. <laughs> I, I am actually lost. Uh, can anyone remember? Ah, there we go. Up there. Right, I'm going to leave the way I came in, <laughs> if I can find it, and I'll see you back at base. Oh, hello. There's yeah, lots of goings on. I've come up here, into the hills overlooking my home, to set up my new friend, Juton the Great and Powerful. Mostly I'm doing it up here because I don't want to just shove him in a box. I mean, I could just put him, put him in a box with uh, assorted god pieces, but that doesn't seem particularly... Uh, seems a little sacrilegious. So what I'm going to do is uh, put him here. So that there's his legs, and his body, and now to pop the head on. Oi, there we are. That's those are the legs of Mammon, the head of Jupiter, and I think that's the torso of Demeter. Uh, but I'm not completely certain about that. And uh, with any luck, he'll probably start shooting lightning at things again. Come on, Juton, show us what you're made of. I've come back down into my garden. Oh, crikey! Ah, uh, this is a centipede from. Uh, from Project Zulu. You don't, I'm not sure if I've actually encountered one of those before. Uh, where was I? And yes, don't mind that statue, that, uh, that gravestone, that's been there a while. A Hecate from Ars Magica. They, they hit like hammers. There we are. Uh, Juton, being a, being a mighty god, does not perform on demand. Uh, <laughs> and doesn't really care about uh, how long my videos are either. Is his... The, the concerns of puny mortals and video makers such as myself uh, are, are of little concern to him. Uh, and until I get some more household god parts, 
Ah, uh, that's about all he's good for, is is making lightning happen. Uh, if I had particular feet or uh, bodies for him, I might be able to get him to direct his lightning at zombies or the monsters or animals or, or myself, if I was quite unwise. I do know where there's some other... where there is probably one more statue, and I will make uh, acquiring that one of my priorities, but obviously I've got a lot of bees and machinery and all sorts of other things to uh, to deal with. Um, so, you know, but I will get around to that. Come on, Juton, one more. No. Right, all right, we'll be like that then. <laughs> As usual, if you want to follow me on uh, Twitter, uh, you can catch me at Arcanor. The uh, details of all the uh, mods I mention are on my website, which is linked to in the YouTube show notes, uh, and at the uh, end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this little adventure, and I'll see you next time. Take care.